let's discuss how to set up and use the LastPass account on an iPad device. First of all, you need to begin by installing the LastPass application, password safe for Apple from the Apple Store. That's a trivial sort of process. We already have it installed on our computer or our tablet right now, and we're just going to click on it to open it. If you don't have an account, you will need to create an account first of all, and you'll need to tie this to an email address. So let's begin by adding an email address. and create my account. <clears throat> you'll need to pick a master password and you'll need to make sure that that password is very, very safe and secure. So the normal rules are you want it to be eight to 12 characters long. Um, you should have a character uppercase, a character lowercase, a special character and a digit in that uh, password. And we're going to enter it twice, the master password and then we need to confirm that we entered it correctly the first time and then we can give it a hint so this would be a hint that would be meaningful to us but not to anybody who actually manages to hack our systems so don't put for your password hint my dog's name or my child's birth date those are easy things to figure out use something a little more complicated We're just picking one. Stupid Yelp cries. Uh, I want it to be uh, 12 characters long, so we've got 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Um, no, it is not our email. And um, it isn't commonly used. And so let's just confirm that by typing that in again. We'll just visually confirm that it's the same. Looks the same to me. Um, and for our password hint, um, we'll just say not smart sounds. That should be obtuse enough that we will remember it, but nobody else will. And we're going to go set my password. Great and it's logging us in. So uh, now we get to add our first password. So to do that, um, we can manually start typing our existing passwords. Um, and so if you want, uh, you can type in your Facebook password. Um, it'll ask you for the URL of the website, the name, uh, your email address you use to log in or your username and the password. Um, <clears throat> and that's all pretty easy, but let's cancel out of here and uh, go back to our home screen. And instead, I want to go to a brand new website. And if this is the first time you've installed LastPass on your tablet device, you need to modify Safari and LastPass so that they can work together. To do this, the steps are fairly straightforward. We need to disable Safari's autofill feature. We do that by going to the iOS settings. So click on the little gear icon uh, to get into the settings for your device. Tap the Safari icon. And depending on which version of iOS you're using, uh, if you're using iOS 8, then click under the general uh, tab, uh, tap the passwords, and then click autofill and toggle names and passwords off from the autofill setting. If you're using iOS 9, uh, again, go under the general uh, choice and then tap autofill and again, toggle names and passwords off. The next thing we need to do is enable the pass 
the LastPass extension for Safari. So if you open the LastPass application on your iOS device, you'll be brought to a screen called the Vault. Near the bottom of that screen is um, either a security um, icon or a tools icon in some versions. And uh, click on that icon and then tap Add the extension. You will then have to tap More, uh, and you'll get a shared menu with a list of applications in it. Click LastPass on that list. Swipe the radio button to the right to enable LastPass and add it to your extensions. And it's as simple as that. The next screen will actually have a bit of a sped up animated graphic of how this all works. And instead, I want to go to a brand new website and create a brand new password. So I'm going to create a Hotmail account for myself. Uh, again, we log in and we get to create a free account. So let's do that. And um, I want to create um, a new account for myself. So I need a username, um, one that hasn't been used before. Now, um, Rumpelstiltskin. Oh. Rumpelstiltskin 1. Um, I verified this on another uh, page already that this one has not yet been taken. And let's click Next. And we get to create a password for it. So if I click, if I click, done. If I click on create password, um, a password prompt comes up here and um, we can start organizing our vault. Uh, so I'm going to add this as a password. Um, Hotmail now uses live as its email, but we can change that to Hotmail and it'll go in my email folders and my pass my username is rumpelstiltskin1 at outlook.com that was from the previous page. And we are now going to uh, enter our password. Now we could enter our password or we can generate a brand new password. Um, when I choose to generate a password, it'll give me a fairly complicated password here. Um, it has a 16 character length. We can choose that length uh, because maybe some sites have a higher threshold or a lower threshold. We have some options. Um, do we want to make it pronounceable? Uh, do we want uppercase letters, lowercase letters, special characters, numbers, and a minimum number of required numbers? Um, <clears throat> if we try to make it pronounceable and we go back, uh, we can see that it has given us something that we can try to pronounce. Um, may or may not be useful. Now, here is where this comes in really, really handy. So let's take that off. Uh, By storing this in my password safe, I will never have to remember this password. I only have to remember the password to get into LastPass in the first place, and I'm gonna sync that up across all my devices. So as long as I remember my master password for LastPass, um, I can use, I can let LastPass generate the most obscure, hardest to remember, difficult passwords it can. Um, I will never have to enter or type them in again. Um, and so that's the beauty of this. So we're gonna use this password and click on next um, and uh, we also have some choices we can um, we generally want to auto fill it um, and we can actually auto log on to a website uh, as well and save and fill um, that's our password and uh, no I don't care about hearing from Microsoft um,
and we're a brand new baby. No. Okay, so um, now let's log in to um, our Hotmail account. Oh, sorry, we need to log out, sign out. Okay, and if we go to um, Sign in. We can use LastPass. Next. And there we are. We've, uh, so in this demonstration, we have set up a new LastPass account for ourselves. We have uh, created a new email account for ourselves on Hotmail had it auto generate a password for us so that we don't have to remember all of our passwords and we don't have to use the same password for every site anymore which is much more secure and we uh, logged out and used LastPass to log us back in without us having to remember that password.